Okay, so this is an example of one of our tree tubes here. This was actually a six foot tube I cut down to three foot. And many reasons Jake's peeing on it right now, watering it. Thank you, Jake. And uh, we planted this this fall. It's a 9-11 tree. We planted on September 11th um, in honor of the 9-11 uh, attacks. But um, you like to use the taller tree tube because it keeps the deer from eating the tops of the trees off um, when it grows out of the tube. If you were to come out here and just plant a little tree out here and not put a tube on it, by tomorrow morning it would be chewed off by deer or they'd rub their antlers on it. So you really, you wanna let it stay on there and a tall tube is the best like that. So it's above the browse line, but that's not the only thing that a tree tube does. A tree tube also stays really wet inside there and creates a greenhouse effect. And it's kind of like when a crowded tree is in the woods and it's looking for daylight at the top of the woods and it grows extra hard to reach to that daylight and grows nice and tall and straight. And you can see even today in this temperature down in the tube, it is moist in there. It is wet in there, okay? Um, and it's a completely dry day today. But that tree we planted this fall and uh, it's still green, hasn't lost its leaves yet. It's November uh, 5th, something like that, and um, still has leaves on it. But it'll keep growing up out of this, and then when it comes out, hopefully the deer don't browse it too much because it's a little tube, I may switch it out. But all these trees out here, uh, have all these tubes out here have little trees in them. Um, some of those trees over there, Mrs. Babb was here, or DeCroix when we planted them, and I think actually Mrs. Bragg uh, planted some of these, and Mrs. Smith, and Mrs. Wonkel. Grandpa planted some of those big pines that are absolutely destroyed by deer. And uh, we'll continue to keep planting. As they kill them, we keep planting them. So that's the only thing you can do. Over here, these are where we planted our nuts this year. And you can see along that fence line over there, it goes all the way back our 120 acres. As far as you can see, there are tree tubes along that fence line every 30 feet. Okay, so you can see tree tubes going all the way back down the line there. Okay, they go way back there and everywhere you see a tree tube there's a tree that we planted lots of work but what we do is we plant nuts and in this bed and this is also where we plant our pumpkins but we plant nuts all these seeds are nuts some are from mr heary uh, some are from all kinds of different people we have nuts from this actually says on it each tube is labeled to tell what's on it I thought I labeled it. Maybe I didn't. What? It's already worn off. That's crazy. Oh yeah, right there. But there's uh, Chinese chestnuts, swamp white oak. You found deer tracks? All right. Dog tracks? Well, we don't want to shoot a dog. Okay, so um, I did have these labeled, but it looked like magic marker or a permanent marker is not the thing to use on these they get so wet it must have just washed off um but these are all nuts that brock helped plant didn't you brock yep. and brock brody helped plant and when they grow what we'll do is wait for them to get probably two years old and then um we'll probably dig them up and transplant them around the farm in other places we'll cut down junk trees and transplant good trees okay and then over here this is what the nuts look like when they grow. These are ones, these were planted last fall as nuts. And each tree, so those, these leaves are starting to lose their leaves. Trees are starting to lose their leaves. But you can see, oh, there's a rabbit. Look at that. See that rabbit? See how close I can get to it. Okay, so here's this tree here. And it is about um, 10 inches tall, maybe. But that was planted from an acorn last year. There's actually two here. We put, Shelby and I put three oaks, acorns, in every hole. And pretty much every hole grew three oak acorns. Or three ac three all three acorns germinated and grew a tree. So we'll let those get up. Maybe, yeah, I saw it earlier. We'll let it get up about this high. So up about that tall next year, probably next fall, when they go dormant, we'll dig them up. And we will uh, move them to somewhere else on our farm. So it's a, the reward of growing them from seed is much more fun than growing a tree or buying a tree at Lowe's or somewhere where you pay $150 for an oak tree when, you know, we planted a nut right here that cost us absolutely nothing for all those nuts. And, uh, you know, we got 50 trees along here that in three years will be as big as three or 
three to five years will be as big as some of those hundred and fifty dollar trees and and uh you know we've we've got nothing invested in them except a little bit of time and uh, we enjoy doing it as a family so um you can see way out there there's tubes everywhere on our farm